Oh, man. There's some, like, really moronic stuff going on in Virginia, for starters. Um, they're talking about limiting people to one gun a month. And, oh, yeah, they're also limiting the way um, victims of domestic violence can protect themselves. Our next guest is a writer from the Washington Free Beacon, Stephen Gutowski. Please tell me I didn't hey, butcher how that. how you doing? Please tell me I didn't butcher that last name again. Uh, it's close enough, right? <laughs> Gutowski. Gutowski. Gutowski, whatever. Gutowski. It's better than 90% of other people. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I'm, as long as I'm better than 90%, I'm happy. Like, I'm, I'm it's, I'm kind of like but it's good to be with you. Uh, guy. What is it again? Colin Noir, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> Touche, my brother. Touche. <laughs> All right, so Colin Noir has some questions for you. <laughs> All right, so let, let, let's talk about these, the, this, these restrictive anti-gun initiatives. Um, now, 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 Virginia has at one point had this kind of limitation of one gun a month law before um that was taken away and now there's talks of bringing it back after um this there was a sting operation that took place where there was this huge gun smuggling ring where about 20 24 guys were involved in taking guns from virginia and bringing them into new york did i get there yeah to just that yeah that's the gist of it right uh there was a big bust in new york city uh a few weeks back where they caught a bunch of gun runners basically people who were committing all sorts of uh, illegal acts, running guns up to New York and selling them to criminals. Um, and uh, some, some of those criminals guns being, came Criminals from, being criminals? Yeah, basically. Okay. Criminals <laughs> committing criminal acts yeah. with other criminals. You know, uh, things that are illegal 15 times over in 15 different ways Yeah. Um, already, obviously. But um, this has led to uh, the governor of Virginia, Terry McAuliffe, who's a Democrat, he uh, proposed an amendment to a separate unrelated gun bill um, that would bring back the one gun a month uh, rule, uh, which is somewhat self-explanatory, right? You can yeah. only buy one handgun a month. Yeah, because we're living in this. We're living in the nineteenth. We're living in what the fifteenth century now, <laughs> right? Um, or you face like up to a year in prison or a twenty-five hundred dollar fine if you if you buy more than one. Handgun a month. If you attempt to buy more than one handgun, I'm confused. So how does it? Yeah. Okay, so well, me, uh, go ahead. if you if you actually purchase more than one handgun in a month under this rule, you would potentially be sentenced to a year in jail. Um, <laughs> obviously, this rule's not in place. Right, <laughs> That's what they want to do. Okay, let me get this straight. So the catalyst for this idea that they want to reinstate this law that they once had before is based off of this, this basically um, this gun smuggling ring where criminals were illegally engaging in straw purchases, bringing them into New York illegally, and now they want to make it illegal for anyone to purchase a gun, to purchase more than one gun a month. Uh, that, that, that's, that's the logic behind that. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly right. Okay, yes, yeah, I still don't get it. Um, I, I, I just don't. Cause, all right, so let's look at the facts of this case, right? So we had, they, I think they, they smuggled, what, 217 guns um, mm -hmm. into New York. There was, there was a, in the ring, uh, the, uh, the ring was, consisted of about 24 people. And so, let, and so let's say, for instance, and my math may be wrong, so tell me, catch me if it is. But if we had individuals who, let's say each one of those got somebody to do a straw purchase for them once a month, right? Um, if we break that number down, 200 plus guns, that's what, about, that? you basically need about, what, 22 people, 22-ish people to buy one gun a month for the nine months that this, ring, that this, this whole thing took place. Um, wouldn't we still be looking at the same number of guns that they brought into New York if this law, even, if this law existed, so to speak? Uh, possibly. I mean, uh, the, this ring was already using, as you said, illegal straw purchases um, to get the guns that they were buying in Virginia anyway, so they yeah. were already committing a crime in doing that. And then when they would transport them up to New York, that's a crime. And then when they'd sell them to uh, someone who's not legally allowed to possess a gun, that's another crime. You know, and it goes on and on. There's this this what they did is 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 illegal many times over already. So adding um, another sort of layer of illegality to the whole process. Um, you know, you could certainly question if that's going to do any good or not. And that, one that affects everyone so widely that, uh, in the state. That's the, well. that's the interesting thing about that, too, because it's like to, to propose this would insinuate that the laws currently in place don't work. 
but clearly they worked enough to know that they started a sting operation, which inevitably involved in the arrest of these 24 people who were doing these illegal things. So right. I'm, 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 just, I'm kind of baffled as to how this kind of serves as the catalyst for that, when clearly in this case, the law is working. And then on top of that, there is, I, I, I think a lot of people on the other side and, and politicians don't understand there is no viable way to stop straw purchases unless you ban guns outright. Sure. Le legit, there's literally no other way. Um, and so, so from that perspective, I'm, I'm wondering what's, the, I'm not really wondering, I know, what's the overall end goal with respect to these moronic laws or initiatives that they keep passing in response to basically examples of the law working right well i mean you know you could anyone could speculate at what the actual true motivations of, of terry mcauliffe and and uh his supporters are in this situation but it, this is a common talking point in here in virginia mm -hmm. uh from people who are for gun control or more gun control is that virginia is uh is some sort of supplier the black market of guns that it's so much easier to buy a gun here than in places like Washington D.C. or Maryland or New York. That criminals the, the idea is that criminals come here to buy their guns and then take them back there. Um, <clears throat> but uh, you know, as the point, like you already said, I mean, the what doing that is already illegal yeah. in a number of different ways, as we've covered, and and uh, not to mention the fact that if you buy a bunch of guns all at once in Virginia, there is a mechanism where you're <laughs> reported to um, the the police so that they can monitor uh, yeah you know it's, it's a red flag basically they can they which can I'm, monitor what you're, you're doing with those guns and which I'm pretty sure context, is what which is probably what tipped up yeah, I'm not gonna be surprised if that's what actually tripped the yeah. the the initial investigation to create this thing in the first place I, I, I I'm just gonna go on a limb and say that's probably what happened yeah so there's already a mechanism for people who are uh, like this, these criminals that are coming in and trying to buy a bunch of guns all at once and take them somewhere else mm -hmm. to sell them. There's already mechanisms in place that that monitor that kind of thing. Yeah, I, I just find it incredible. It, it's almost hilarious at this point, just because, like, you literally, it's an initiative that that is basically affecting no one else but you and I, and everybody else who we're not worried about. I, instead of focusing on on actually, I don't know making the consequence for engaging in straw purchases a, a, a higher punishment. We're, we're focusing on limiting the rights of people who we're not worried about in the first place. Like, so because now you have one group of criminals engaging in, in something they're not supposed to be doing. We already have laws in place that tells them they're not supposed to be doing that. Those laws work, and now they're being charged and probably going to go to jail for those very things. No, 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 no. Let's create laws that make it even harder for everyone else to get guns because of these guys over here, which the laws we currently have actually work and demonstrate itself by way of this example. I, 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 I'm, I'm, a little, I'm a little confused right now, and I, I, don't, I don't really know what to do with the information at this point. <laughs> um, well, you're certainly not the only one who feels that way, <laughs> what I've seen in Virginia. Well, that's, that, that's incredibly unfortunate in that regard. Um, we're going we're gonna to take a quick break real quick, and we'll come back. Um, we'll come back and we'll continue talking with Stephen about some other things. Thank <laughs> you. 